Okay, I'm going to have to talk loud and periodically I'll turn the fan off on the air conditioner in moments I really need to be heard. But my son Brandon and I, my son Bo, Bo Neshoba, are in his car and we are driving down toward the park here in Sulphur. This is going to be a long video simply because we're going to show tornado damage, something I didn't get to do before because the streets were all closed off. I'm on a selfie stick right now rather than a tripod. Fortunately, his little car is a real smooth car. There really isn't any storm damage through here. There were, back a few weeks ago, when the tornado hit Sulphur, Oklahoma, there were actually three tornadoes that went through Sulphur. My friend Daniel Arms has a huge YouTube channel, Arms Family Homestead, give them a plug. And uh, he has shown storm damage that I can't film. This road over here is still blocked off. I'm going to undo my seat belt so if you hear the chiming, that's the car saying that uh, I don't have my seat belt on. Brandon's an ultimately safe driver. But one of the three tornadoes went through where Veterans Lake is, and that's where we're going to start our tour. And I'll show you Veterans Lake. We'll drive down to where the Iron Top Bridge that went across the spillway was. And that bridge is now resting at the bottom of Veterans Lake. This is Rock Creek. There's still uh, debris in the creek. It's been about three and a half weeks since that tornado hit, maybe more. I don't remember exactly, but it uh, it did one hell of a lot of damage. Excuse the profanity. Got to get a sip. We will drive through the the park going to where I will be showing you more stuff. Okay, there's a sign saying Veterans Lake. We're turning right, right up here. That's the chime I was warning you about. No, I don't have my seatbelt on, and no, I'm not putting it on. It chokes me. Normally, I'd have my right arm through it to keep it from going riding up on my neck, but right now, my right arm is, my right hand is holding the selfie stick to film where we're going. go straight and then come around we'll show where it was where it's not and we'll have to park yeah it's gone you it's get a gone. better view over at the picnic pavilion yeah we'll go over there I want to get out and play on the swings. Wait, there ain't no swings. This is Chickasaw National Recreation Area and Veterans Lake is part of it. The lake's way up. We've been having a lot of rain. When I say a lot, I mean a huge amount of rain. Okay. Let me turn around. Or you can just pull 
right over yep. here and I can I can do a zoom in shot on it. Yeah, it took the whole day I'm thing. Pulled it right up. This is as good a plate well back up. I need yeah, to I need over one. There, you can see the that side to that side. It was a long footbridge, and it be gone. Okay, we're going to continue our journey now. We got to going back out and going uh, back the way we came. No, no. Now we have to, don't we? Yeah, we yeah. can't get. I don't know. You can you can uh, go right and go. Okay. Yeah. Make the loop. Make the loop. I'm not getting out at Bromide Hill though. I have friends who did that show. Uh -oh. They took a picture and you could see where the the de-leafed trees were. Here, stop and hold this. I'm gonna go ahead and put the seat belt back on. I figured out how to do it without it choking. Stop right here. Okay, got it figured out, folks. I'm old and sneaky, it's what I do. <laughs> Just my selfie stick. Yeah, see, selfie. <laughs> This park is a national park. It attracts millions every summer. Go right, right here. Yeah. This part wasn't been too hard. No, this part, it, what it did, it swooped down, took that bridge, and then went right up over Here's a couple of trees. Here's one up here leaning across the road. It wasn't like that. Uh, okay, this is some damage over here. Yeah, it is. Wow, chewed it up. Okay, straight? Straight, yep. Okay. Yeah, it came through here. That one that got the the bridge. Whoa, oh, yeah, it got a bunch. Dang nabbit. And get that right by the car. Yeah. That, good night, nurse. I want to keep going because I'm in a bad spot. Goodbye. I love it when you do that to people in Russia. That is some of the funniest stuff ever.
<laughs> what my son Bo's referring to is I'm multilingual. Part of my job description, my federal <laughs> job. Remember when you and Grandpa were teaching me multiple languages when I was a kid? You had to stop because I was teaching all the kids a class to curse. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I remember your dad thought that was funny, and you thought it was funny till mom came in there and gave you the look, and I'm like, oh, here we go. Uh, I love you, and I love doing stuff with you, dad. Thanks for taking me with you. Well, thanks for driving me around. I hate, I couldn't do this by myself. Yeah, you could have super glued your tripod to your dashboard on your van. No, I've... I've Tried the van rides smooth, but I've it bounces stuff all over the place. When I mean ride smooth, if you're riding in it, it's like riding in two easy chairs. It didn't seem to hit this part too bad, but when we turn left here in a minute, you'll see a lot of damage. The reason he's driving so slow, it's a 15 mile an hour speed limit on this road. Well, now 25. Yeah, but anything you do in this part is federal, so I'm gonna take you say? Yep, go left. Right. And then when you get to the next stop sign, go left. Well, down here you go left. There goes the Murray County Sheriff, High Sheriff. Okay. You got one coming, Bo. Yeah, we got a big one coming. Two coming. on down that it got hit and be prepared to stop we will be stopping. But if the springs weren't hit, that don't look like it's damaged at all. It's not. Monkey tree almost got destroyed. Monkey tree is a boat art tree, folks. Boys the art. Most agent when see you can see over there some damage. Straight or left or right? You go all the way to the stop sign. Idiot, slow down and stop, dude. Go left up here. Okay. When we uh, turn left, I'm turning the fan on for a bit. Okay. Uh, 
That's the Artesian where my daughter-in-law Tiffany works. Artesian Hotel, it didn't get hit. I'm glad. Donut Palace didn't get hit, but get over in the right lane and drive slow. My friend Gary Crap. had a, a furniture store there. Also, there was the uh, muffler shop. Wow. All this got hammered really bad. Now, at the bottom of the hill, turn right. Okay. Right here, turn right. Okay, up here is the Flower Bluff Mansion on the right, and it got pretty much destroyed. There won't be enough money to rebuild it. Beautiful, beautiful old building. Turn right, right here. Drive very slow so I can Turn the AC back on. That's the old Billy Cook saddle shop. Brandon used to work there. I never worked there. That was Nick. Nick and Chris, yeah. yeah. And Ben. Yep, this is all got absolutely destroyed. <coughs> this is the first time that I could come in here. It, yeah, it really, go left up here, Bo. Before you do, though, stop. Right over there is the old theater. My friend Charlie Schwalke owned it, and he owned that lumber yard on the corner that got destroyed. These buildings, most of them, right here is the lumber yard Charlie had. It was no longer in business, but it got destroyed. Goodness. These buildings, most of them were on the National Historic Register. Most of them were over 100 years old. There's Bates Tag Agency. She had to move that go left right here. See, hang on, don't don't go yet. I've got a guy behind me. Okay, go left. Back there, you can see the back of that building. Wow. Chickasaw Telephone, they got destroyed. That's a post office. It got destroyed. Go all the way up to the stop sign to Oklahoma Street and go right. You're not going to believe what we see over there. Apartment complex that got destroyed. I'm very thankful that only one person in this tornado died here in Sulphur, but I'm sorry that one person died. Yeah. Fort Arbuckle Apartments got destroyed. It's a miracle, not, it's a miracle that only one person died. This was intense. Okay. Crap. Yeah. Now. Oh, man. When we turn left here in a minute, I will, we'll wait for this guy to get by with his two sea doos ski doos or whatever. broken tree there. Hang on, you get a car coming. No, I'm just pushing up. Left. Yeah, we'll be going left. A lot of beautiful older homes here in Sulphur got killed. Slow down. Right here was a veterinarian store and a donut shop and that's where uh, 
snack shack east go right right here used to be that all got destroyed a lot of these homes are having to be taken down and that's I really hate that left up here. Right through here, a lot of homes got destroyed. Go left again. The problem, there are two problems with FEMA helping. The biggest one, Daniel Arms referred to, and that is we're a red state. We're not a, we're a predominantly Republican state and vote conservatively during uh, elections. That's the old con shop right there. It's gone. That's why. Okay. Go left. We're going like we're going home. Get all the way down. I don't see any traffic to the right. Well, I got somewhere I gotta go and get it done filming real quick. Okay. It shouldn't take me real long. Pile of rubble that used to be a house. The thing that is sad about this, FEMA is not in any hurry, and number one. Number two, a lot of these homes did not have insurance, and a lot of them were rent houses and the landlord didn't have insurance. And due to, to Billy Cook and other businesses getting absolutely destroyed, there are no uh, no jobs. A lot of the job base here in Sulphur got destroyed as well. Go wherever you're needing to go, Bo. And I'll keep filming and talking until I'm done. But somebody sent me a message, and I really don't remember who it was, that the only money that a lot of these people that didn't have insurance in their houses are getting is a $350 check to cover their their rebuilding expenses. $350, not $35,000, not $350,000, $350. And it's like the folks that have the Flower Bluff Mansion. The problem is their insurance only covered a quarter of a million I think that's what I was told. And that won't rebuild. The house has to be demolished because it's a health hazard and it'll cost upwards to about 350000 to uh, demolish it. That is what you run into. Well, folks, I'm going to get off of here. Know that these two crazy men sitting in this car love you. And I hope to, to uh, post this today. Bye.